بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ فل یو آل آر گڈ ٹوڈیز لیکچر از فار کلاس سکس سیکشن نمبر ون جیوگرافی چیپٹر نمبر ون آور کنٹری ان دا ورلڈ پارٹ ٹو In this lecture, we will study about the different geographical terms which we use in geography. These are the following terms which we discuss today in detail. First of all, mountains. These are the highest lands. There is no fixed height at which a hill become a mountain. But mountains are usually above. 2000 to 3000 meters some mountains like himalaya or karakoram are sharp or pointed next one is hills these are lands above the sea level but not as high as mountain they are generally covered with vegetation such as grass tree etc so students the basic difference between mountain and hills are their height mountains are the highest on land and hills are, are not as high as mountains then plateaus these are areas of flat land well above the sea level Some plateaus are fertile while other are poor land. It depends on their height, amount of rainfall, etc. Then plains. These are areas of flat, flat land at lower level. Some are at sea level or slightly higher. The plains are the important as this is where most farming take place. So plains are very important because these are responsible for farming. And the basic difference between plateau and plain are plateau are above the sea level and plains are at lower level. Then deserts. there these are areas where nothing or only top plant can grow the there are hot desert where the temperature is very high during the day there is very little or no water and the soil is too poor for anything to grow so in desert the temperature is high during day and the temperature is cold and low during the night time then lakes these are inland seas completely surrounded by land lakes can either have fresh or salt water rivers this is flowing or moving water these can be tiny streams or many kilometer wide then history this is where important river widen as they enter the sea histories can make good harbor for ships and last one is delta sometimes when a river enters the sea it breaks into many small rivers or channels in a v shape The land here can be very fertile because of the mud brought down by the river but it is also responsible for flooding. Hopefully students you understood today's lecture very well. Thank you so much.